Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show my new headset. These are uh, the Turtle Beach uh, Air Force Recon. Uh, this is the 50X. There is a 200X version. Uh, these are the more inexpensive uh, earphones, ear um, gaming headset, I will say, for uh, the gamer on the budget. These, uh, definitely very happy with it. Uh, works with the uh, Xbox One, PS4, Switch, mobile, tablet, everything. So I was very glad to see that I can uh, switch it back and forth between my PS4 and my Xbox One. I uh, went with the uh, white and green for my <laughs> sporting the Xbox colors. Um, they did have a black and green, and um, I think the X or the PlayStation's version was uh, black and blue. Uh, but I went with these. Uh, I, sh I should have done an unboxing, but I was uh, just kind of eager to get these open and get them get them tried out and stuff before I shot a video. Uh, ear cups are adjustable; they do swivel back and forth. I do wish they swiveled this way because they kind of kind of at an angle, which it, it does sit comfortable. So I mean, that's just a small thing. Uh, the headband is uh, plastic; uh, it has a nice cushion at the top, though. Um, they fit very comfortably over your ears once you get those adjusted. I have to adjust it a little bit because I'm wearing my uh, cap. But uh, the mic, extremely, extremely flexible. You can do anything you want with it. Uh, and if you get annoyed with it or you're just chilling, wanting to listen to some music, you pop it out. It's completely detachable. Just pops right back into place. Has a little groove though. If I can do this without looking at it. There we go. Uh, has a little groove and it just kind of, if I can get it, <laughs> and I have trouble when I'm trying to show everybody, of course. Okay, I'm going to have to take it off. Anyway, there we go, there we go, okay, so you can just snap it back into place. Apparently, <laughs> not as easily as I wanted to do, but uh Anyway, I really would enjoy it. Uh, they seem very well made. Seem pretty sturdy. Um, these were priced at twenty nine ninety five, so uh, pretty inexpensive headset. Um, they fit very comfortably. They have this nice, uh, nice um, kind of like almost like a foam, like a fake leather type material here. Fits very nice on your ears and stuff. I noticed uh, I played for a couple hours straight with them on, and I did notice. Um, that like it just seemed like the headset kind of squeezes your head a little more, but you can adjust it more, and I guess it should do that. Um, but for the price point, it's great, great headset, especially if you're on the fence whether you even want one. I know I was. I, I had to say the Turtle Beaches before, um, but I was just kind of on the fence about it. Um, but I really like these. Cord's nice and long too, uh, about four feet or so. So I mean, you don't have to worry about getting playing on like a six inch you know cord or anything uh but overall i'm really happy with them um definitely um definitely recommend it for the price and stuff uh the, my only real complaint is i think the volume is a little low on it even if i after i went in settings and adjusted it for the uh, headset even at max volume it wasn't quite um quite as loud as i think it should be I don't listen to everything like full blast or anything, but uh, when you're playing like Battlefield or something like that, you kind of want to crank it up a little bit so you got the explosions, or if you're playing Forza, you know, you got the, the roar of the motors or your cars and stuff like that. So, um, but I'm, I'm happy with them overall. Definitely good for the price point, and I definitely recommend picking up a set um, if you're, you know, in the market for a head for a gaming headset. Um, these are uh, well worth the 30 bucks. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.